So Don Chamberlain here again, Great Wave Engineering, trying to start out another little test here. Um, I bought a couple of Fluval 406 filters a while back to uh, test out the uh, mechanical foam filter media. I uh, ran that a while uh, in parallel with my uh, koi pond filter on the uh, quarantine tank, which I think was a pretty severe environment. The uh, inlet section of that koi pond filter gets filthy dirty when they're feeding. They're currently fasting, so it cleans the whistle right now, but uh, I'll start feeding them again here uh, at the beginning of February, so uh, we can start putting this to the test again. So I was a little disappointed, actually. Um, the flu wall, I thought, had a pretty good mechanical setup. They've got these big blocks of coarse foam here, where the water initially enters and then has to pass through. Those things are about a foot long, so the water has to pass down through that and then come back up through the bottom tray. And actually, their uh, their foam media they had in there from the factory was uh, looked pretty good to me. But uh, I replaced it with uh, with my stuff for test purposes. Uh, so I did a couple of tests uh, uh, with the coarse uh, medium and then uh, fine foam. Um, and uh, checked that after a few weeks and uh, was surprised to see how much dirt got through uh, the mechanical and into the biological section. Wasn't very happy about that. But at any rate, the media seem, or the uh, foam filter media seemed to hold up okay and it's been relatively popular. Um, but um, I'm looking at Porette foam, um, which, doesn't, which isn't convoluted, and I'm going to try a couple layers of that in comparison with this setup where I'm actually using the uh, polyester uh, fine filter pads that uh, Fluval provided. So this pretty well duplicates what the Pond Guru recommends. We'll see how that looks after a couple of weeks, about mid-February, we'll tear it down and see what uh, what's happening. Uh, see if we can see any difference. So this is uh, this is this setup, and then in a minute we'll take a look at the uh, other setup. So here we have two sheets of port foam. Uh, this is a real high quality foam. Uh, one, the green one here, is uh, 20 uh, pores per inch. And this finer one, is, uh, which is uh, the same as my current uh, medium foam, and this is uh, 30 pores per inch, which is finer, but not as fine as my current fine foam, which is 50 pores per inch. So I'm going to put these two in. They are not convoluted, just solid blocks of foam. Uh, one is an inch and the other one is two inches thick. Uh, so that will pretty well fill up that uh, bottom tray. Um, so the theory of the convoluted foam is that that provides more surface area, which is certainly true. And if, uh, and if that front surface did the main job of filtering, uh, that would be a wonderful thing, but uh, from my testing, it appeared to me that uh, the debris was pretty well dispersed throughout the foam, and therefore, all you really accomplish with the convolution is less uh, volume, and therefore less filter uh, filtering volume. Uh, so anyways, we will soon find out whether my theory is uh, correct or not, if we, can, if we get different enough results uh, to tell. There, we got a couple of blanks uh, cut out of the coarse foam. And we'll do the same thing now for the uh, medium. All right, so now we have uh, both of the pads cut out. And you can see what they look like in there. Um, so both filters are going to be uh, set up the same. As far as the biological media goes, we've got three baskets full of uh, my home ultimate. And so, we will see if this new foam can keep the crap out of the, uh, out of the biohome. So there'll be one other difference uh, the setup on this filter. Uh, this is the pathetic amount of ceramic media that came with the filter. And the pond guru suggested putting those in the bottom, in the very bottom to help break up the flow. I didn't think a whole lot of that idea at the time, so I didn't do it on my first set of testing, but uh, 
recently got a video from a gentleman that had set up a filter uh, as the Plum Guru uh, suggested and did that. And I was amazed at the amount of uh, crap that it looked like it kept in the uh, very bottom. So I'm hopeful that uh, this will help. Uh, there seems to be just enough room to get some of these in there. So we'll, we'll put as many as we can down there and uh, see if that helps. So there we are. There's just enough of those rascals to pretty much fill that up. They have to be laying on their side in order to uh, fit the uh, trays in there. Um, but uh, yeah, that might actually work pretty well. So here it is, March 3rd. Time to tear these babies down and see how they're doing. It'll be interesting to see what they look like inside after about a month of operation. Now during that month the feeding wasn't too heavy, but uh, recently we picked it up quite a bit. So we're going to take a look at uh, where these guys are pulling their water. See if we can see. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but it's so hopefully, hopefully none of your tanks are quite that uh, out of shape. Uh, but I figured this would be a good test for a filter, for sure. All right then, we've got them uh, taken apart, and at first glance, it looks like the. Uh, Filter with the three layers of the uh, convoluted foam that we're currently selling looks a little better. The out uh, the outlet uh, here looks pretty darn clean. And compared to the one with the uh, two layers of foam, the port foam that we're testing out. But I'm gonna dig into this a little deeper and see uh, see what we see down below here. Okay, so now we've pulled the lid off and we can see a little bit of dirt here. Now this is the uh, filter with the, the three layers of foam. There's just a little bit of debris up here on the very top layer of the media. And once again, looking at the one that had two layers of foam, looks like there's more dirt. Not exactly what I was hoping to see. So, anyways, I'm down at the second layer, I'm not sure there's an appreciable difference between the two, although again, the one with the three layers may be a, a bit less than this one. Yeah, I think so. I think we still see the same trend here. So. Results are pretty consistent. All right, here we are down at the bottom tray of biological media. And we can see a fair bit of debris got through the filter for sure. And what I'd like to see, that's uh, for sure, although it'll rinse off pretty handily. What do we got going on over here? Uh, can't really see a whole lot of difference. And this side. So I'm not sure what this is telling us exactly. This is the initial coarse foam where the water enters, goes down to the bottom of the filter. Here we have the one with the three layers. And we can see that it's got a lot of debris at the bottom, and the bottom two thirds. And at the top, it doesn't look like that much. Contrast that with the other filter. So now the question is, is that telling me that this filter, the one that had two layers of foam, was actually picking up a lot more debris from uh, the inlet for whatever reason? It's certainly got a lot more crap here in this, uh, this initial filter. So next thing will be to take a peek at the, uh, the bottom tray and see what we got there. Alrighty, so here we can see the top. I actually used some of the, uh, this was the original Fluval cellulose uh, fine pad. 
that is on the top of this and then below that we have two layers of convoluted of course and a medium uh, sort of interesting I'm not sure exactly what I'm seeing there some little nodules there that uh, look like some sort of eggs but it may just be uh, uh, some uh, bacterial uh, film that is filming there now over here we see this is a 24 per inch film uh, I'm sorry foam that was on the top level of this one and it's about the same okay so now we've gone down another layer we've got all of the trays out of the uh, the canister and we're looking down in there uh, a fair bit of dirt down in the very bottom uh, but not all that much uh, trapped down there you'd love to see that just chucked full of crap um, as opposed to any getting anywhere else but over here now this is the uh, this is, was the test unit, so to speak, with the two layers of foam. And I also uh, used the Panguru's trick where I took the, uh, the media, the ceramic uh, cylinders that came with the filter, and placed them down there. I had seen a, uh, a gentleman, one of my customers, had done this. And uh, while I didn't think it was all that great an idea, it looked in his case that it really trapped a lot more dirt. Uh, it looks like it may have done in this case as well, although once again the whole question is was, was this filter uh, working on dirtier water than the other? That's kind of the $64,000 question at the moment. So uh, now let's see, we've removed the top layer of foam and now we're looking at the medium foam and we can see a fair bit of Dupree got trapped there, which is what we'd like to see, that's for sure. We go over here, we pulled off the medium foam and exposed the coarse layer of foam, which is a big thick layer. And sort of as I had seen before when I was first testing the convoluted foams, the coarse stuff doesn't look to me like it does a whole lot. I think I may run another test with nothing but the medium foam and see what kind of results I get. And I can't really see much here that's trapped on the upper surface of this foam. Okay, we're almost to the bottom of things now. Here we're looking at the top of the chorus foam, the convoluted foam that we've been selling for some time. And just as in the other case we're not seeing a great deal of dirt there on the top now this is the bottom of the medium foam and we can see that does a fairly decent job of uh, picking up a fair amount of stuff we come over here there was only two layers so now that tray is completely empty not a whole lot there in the bottom here we got the bottom of the medium foams. Again, pretty nice loading there. So it looks to me like that's doing a pretty decent job. I can't really see a great deal of difference between convoluted and this. Uh, however, as the pond guru points out, the convoluted has a whole lot more surface area. So if it is in fact true that most of the crap gets stopped at the first surface, then the convoluted foam makes a whole lot of sense. Now here we've got the bottom of the course foam. It's kind of interesting that that one corner seems to have picked up a whole lot more stuff. Not exactly sure what that signifies or whether I really like that. It kind of signifies to me some sort of channeling, but I'm not sure. But it certainly was really doing a nice job there. It, uh, it got a lot of uh, stuff in that uh, first bit of foam. Okay, so now we're down at the bottom of the uh, three layer filter and it does appear that it trapped more stuff in the bottom of that uh, bottom tray than the other one did. 
And here we're looking at the, at the uh, bottom side of the coarse foam. And while it does appear that that same corner is a little more uh, debris filled than other parts of the filter, it seems like it's a little more uniform. Interestingly enough, it looks like the peaks of the convolutions pick up more than the uh, valleys, which is, that doesn't really uh, bode well, because that means we're kind of throwing away about half the, uh, half the service area, uh, if it's not really doing anything. Uh, again, I'm not absolutely certain what I conclude from this, but we will continue testing. So this is interesting. Uh, on both of the systems, both the filters, the initial uh, coarse filter was heavily loaded on the one side. But if we look on the other side, we see that it uh, doesn't have much in the way of dirt at all. Um, so here we're looking at one I've taken apart. And and we can see that on the inside of the ones that were on the outside, they are dirty where the inner ones are fairly clean. Um, it's going to be telling me something about the water flow, but it's not really clear to me exactly what that is. Um, I have to think about that for a bit. Well, just to add to the excitement, it started to rain here, so we'll have to wrap this up pretty quick. But uh, for this next phase of the testing, I'm going to uh, replace the coarse uh, port foam with uh, a couple more layers, a couple more inches of the medium. So we'll go with a solid block of three inches of medium foam and see how that performs. Okay, we've got everything rinsed out, cleaned up pretty nice. We're ready to put these babies back together. Just a couple minutes, we're going to put back together, fill them up with water, see if we can get them running again, and we'll try another test, see how the uh, medium foam does this go around. Okay, we're back in operation. Everything's running pretty smoothly here. So, uh, what have we learned? Well, I'm not saying it's real conclusive yet. Um, couple things. We've swapped the uh, location of the filters. The labels are not correct at the moment. Let me get that updated so I don't get totally confused. Um, I found that uh, test filter 2 was consistently harder to get going when I stopped it and started it. Had to uh, hand prime it every time. And then of course we saw that uh, it seemed like more dirt was getting through that one with the two layers of foam. But I'm not sure if that was, uh, wasn't because of where the intake was located. Uh, so perhaps both of those things were due to that, we'll see. Anyway, we've swapped them around now, so uh, uh, that will eliminate the, uh, the uh, mechanical filter media as a cause of that, uh, if in fact things change over the, next, uh, over the next month. So we'll tear them apart again here early in April, right after the big Koi show, and see if the results look any different next time. Until that time, happy, happy fish keeping.